area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang rice gang clothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Let there be light. Finally, let there be light. I think it's kind of like finally. Um, daylight versus loaded lux. You know, it's been a lot of talks about this, but they're starting to gain ground, starting to make waves again, you know, again. You know, um, I've seen Loaded Lux in a number of different interviews talking about Daylight. You know, he, he talks to what, what, what someone can say is in circles. You know, he got to find that proper energy. And when them two lights mean, you know, we got to get in there and do that thing. See, the thing is, the level that you need to be on when you climbing and you elevating, it's like two planets that are meeting in the same sphere. But 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 he's knocking at the door, but when he gets there, he got to know that he got to see that thing. See, that thing is that energy, but, but you got to know that when you align them two things and they align line right, then we got to do what we got. I'd be like, Lux, are y'all battling or not? Like, well, what are we doing here? Like, so, salute to Loaded Lux, you know, he had his record. Um, He did his thing, hey, SP, get your mans, get your mans. Um, but now it has been confirmed uh, as far as daylight put confirmed December him versus loaded Lux and now they have an Instagram that started daylight versus loaded Lux it's an Instagram where they'll be giving out announcements saying how it's going down when it's going down it's supposed to be in December and I'm not gonna lie to you uh, me and daylight you know I've spoke to him uh, a number of times recently and he's like this is this is a thing this is really gonna happen um, and and if it does like that's that's one of them wars you know you got some wars that us as fans want to happen that we've been vying for it to happen for a while and daylight versus loaded lux is certainly one now from what i've heard and this is just the details that i've heard it's not a caffeine thing i don't think it's going to be on url i think it's a thing that they're putting together on their own to bring us the ultimate not the ultimate because you know url the ultimate battle rap they're bringing us a spectacle of battle rap as one has never seen before. Taking things to another prism. They might even get on a spaceship and fly to battle on, you know, Pluto or something like that. I don't know. You know, these guys, they have minds that are outside of this world. Um, both are some of the most phenomenal writers of our generation have uh, top level pens. And a lot of people have been wanting to see what is Daylight going to do after the Tay Rock performances. A lot of us know Daylight has had a storied career that has had ups and downs to where, you know, he trolled for a bit. Uh, he had, I'm gonna shoot this joint up for $500 event versus, you know, at the Summer Madness. Um, like, it's been, it's been a lot for Daylight. So to see where he's taking his career to now, as far as battling Tay Rock having the best three rounds of probably the last couple of years. I haven't seen a performance like that because when you break down every round that's sketched about it's lines that's under lines you know what I'm saying like like I told y'all the other day when he had the what I'ma do what I'ma say what I'm aware like every single bar is constructed to mean something and there's very few MCs that don't have surface level material daylight being one but another MC who has not surface level material, rewind, find, it's more fine, is Loaded Lux. Um, Loaded Lux did have a battle versus Sue Surf where he did win, but a lot of the fans and a lot of the pundits and people who respond to, you know, do blogs and things like that didn't feel like, and I feel like, you know, there's a way to win and there's a way to overwin. He battled a Sue Surf who stumbled, choked, and probably wrote his rounds on the way there, and he just won. It was just like a win. It wasn't nothing that was memorable. People wasn't quoting the lines. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like it wasn't nothing that was like super crazy. When Daylight Battle Tay Rock, them rounds was going viral. They was used in commercials. Caffeine was using them. Um, 
they was all over the internet. Like though that performance was super crazy. Bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? That 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 whole, you know, that whole scenario was kind of crazy. But now you have Loaded Lux allegedly coming back versus a daylight. And now what I will say is this, and I got some more, and, and I got some more, will light shine, I got some more, will the light shine, I got some more, give them more, give them more, I give them more, um, what I was going to say was, um, Loaded Lux, we haven't seen, we had not seen prior to this point, we had not seen Loaded Lux battle on a number of cards consecutively, you know what I'm saying, like within the same year, so to see him versus Suser, then to see him in the two-on-two, the two-on-two was crazy, him and Hollow, had one of the best two on twos versus Tay Rock and Chess, who Chess subbed in like last minute prep. We are waiting for Chess versus Low, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm just gonna leave that there to make it fair. We got a lot of these battles that's dropping that we already seen, like Caffeine will have an event, and then the next week they drop all of the battles that we just seen on Saturday. Like we just seen these joints. We need Chess versus Low, so we need Ryder versus None None. Like that's what the that's what we really paying for. We paying to see some new shit. We're not paying to see shit that we seen three days ago. Now it's cool if you drop it, whatever. But you know, I, I want to see Chess versus Loso if I haven't seen it. But um, so will the light shine? Will the light shine? Um, I heard. I see the rumors going around on 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 Twitter. I see a couple blogs come out about it. So you know, I heard. That daylight, we will see daylight very soon. We will see him very soon. Where are we gonna see him now? I heard that daylight is supposed to be seeing K Sean on Gnome. Allegedly. Allegedly. You know, I don't I don't give out my sources. You know, but it is what it is. The bosses don't give out sources. Uh, but from what I heard, that's daylight's next look. Um you know, him and Kayshawn did have an epic, a epic back and forth. Um, to see them potentially both lock in, both used to be Dot Mob. Uh, you know, both used to rep that. I heard Snake Eyes left Dot Mob. I don't. I, it's just something that crossed my mind. I'm sorry. I know it has nothing to do with anything. But um, Daylight versus Kayshawn could potentially be one of them ones. But. Uh, K. Sean had a performance versus a pen not too long ago in Chilla Jones. Chilla Jones, you know, Chilla Jones kind of wiped the floor with him. But if he's taking what he's learned, and he, he does get busy, like you know, Sean, we know Sean from from long time ago. Like this is not K. Sean is an MC that has had, you know, he went from like a cool level to a superstar level. Battle Hitman went down a notch, then went on a crazy streak, you know what I'm saying? Battle Chiller came down a little bit. But we know what K-Shine could do. Um, uh, if that battle is going on, it's going to take Shine to jump in a different bag, especially if they do no crowd. Like, if they do no crowd, which could potentially happen because Daylight's Battle versus Rock literally didn't have no crowd. If they do no crowd, it might get dark. Um, and I'm not saying a crowd for gas because I know y'all be like NWX gas up all the battles and in some instances they do gas battles but there's a lot of crews that gas battles but uh, the thing that kills me about the gas is when the people that be behind you that you know, no, no have heard the rhymes before when they get to that punchline they be like come on motherfucker let's go it's like bro come on you heard this shit at the hotel my nigga it's not that serious bro like it it really is not that serious bro like well, what are we doing here but um Daylight versus K Shine on a gnome could be a very big battle. That's that's a headliner right there. That could definitely be a headliner. I heard some whispers about some other things, like I heard a damn near a whole card worth of material, but I ain't gonna go through all of that today. I'm just gonna speak about the things that I've seen coming to the light. You know what I'm saying? Like the things that people are talking about, that there are blogs about. I don't I, I can speak about that. I'm not the first one. You know, I think I my salute to the homie Jims, he did a blog. Uh, you know, there's some other ones out there too, you know, but it is what it is. This is what we do. We talk about shit that we see. Um, but if that is true, I think that's a dope battle. Um, a lot, I, I put out a tweet, I think it was a day or two ago, and I asked the fans, like, basically, who do y'all want to see Quill against next to the Batmobile? Who do we want to see him against next? And a lot of people responded with Sean. 
There was a lot of uh, rum nitties in there. There was a lot of hollow the dons in there. So people are kind of, you know, are, are, are focused into who they want to see um, daylight battle against next because I don't, while I don't think the performance versus Tay Rock was an anomaly, it's just too far in between. Like you can't battle once a year and be in that spot like, yo, this is me. I'm still that one because it's like, bro, the nigga that you battled or the people that's battling are battling multiple times, multiple times. They're battling over and over and over and over and over. And Daylight is uh, currently in Atlanta at the whole Cassidy function. And I will say this about Cass. I know a lot of people, including myself, when he was battling and initially was like, yo, is this a money grab or is he sincerely about elevating the culture? And it, what it looks like now, I'm not going to lie, is that he's putting together good things. You can't, you could see, you don't have to see eye to eye with somebody initially to respect the things that they're doing. You got to realize when Cassidy comes around, he brings big views. Everybody makes money. You ain't getting no money out here, B? You ain't getting no money? You ain't getting no money? You ain't getting no money when Cassidy's out here, B? You bugging, son. Y'all y'all niggas look like three stooges of Harlem. Go find that man and don't come back until you find that man. From from the media to the, the dudes who do the interviews to the cats that just be in his circumference, they everybody... <laughs> I'm going to leave that right there, too. But to the cats that do the interviews and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, they do. Everybody does better. So my thing is, if Cassidy is bringing a new light to get MCs looked at, to do showcases, to put on for the culture, and to bring money in, you can't even knock that man. You can't knock that man. And, like, the way he carried the Hitman battle, whether you feel like he won or he didn't, he did better in the Hitman battle than he's done in any other battle, so you have to give him that much. That where was I and all of that, it, it is what it is. Cassidy's around and he's here to stay. Like, it is. He's overcharging niggas for what they did to the Cold Crush. He's got Daylight down there, Mook Rex, uh, who else? Mickey Fax was there. Uh, fucking easy to block Captain Kishi guy. This nigga had everybody there. Like, that's crazy. And salute to him for that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't have to see eye to eye. I don't have to agree with every single battle. I don't have to like every single... I don't have to do that. But I will acknowledge the fact that the man is a legend musically through the streets and through the scenes. You don't have to be the biggest rapper ever, like Eminem or 50 Cent or blah, blah, blah to be legendary from your hood and to put on. Like, we can't deny that growing up, he was on all the freestyles, ripping down all the mixtapes, doing all the radio shows. Shit real, I know how bagging the whole brick feel. Like, we still remember the man's rhyme, so just give him props and respect and admiration for that. And just sit back and see what he does, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give him salute to that. Um, But also, Daylight versus K-Shine, Daylight, versus K-Shine. If that's happening, will the light shine or will shine outlast the light? Hmm. Um, other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all out there who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all from the ones who just started watching to the ones who've been here since it's day one, the OGs. Salute to my family. Salute to my brother, Showtime SP. Gang, 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 gang. Rah!